Hey guys, I've made the live loop cover of the song Savage Love from Jason Derulo and I wanted to take you into my process of making that happen. First, I need to decide on the song I want to make which can be quite a laborious task with listening and figuring out if the song fits into that live loop model. That usually means having a small amount of harmonies, not so many instruments, and the lead theme that really gets in your head. I have a list of songs on my phone that I always grow when I hear something that I think could fill those requirements. Or maybe from a suggestion one of you guys make. Being inspired by a song can help make for a faster cover. I finally managed to settle on a song and it was Jason Derulo's Savage Love. The whole song is composed on a skeleton of four chords which make it perfect for my cover. First of all, I have to find those chords, as I don't have perfect pitch, and I usually do that on my piano-like keyboard. It's way easier that way for me, since I am a classically trained pianist and it's more familiar. Of course, you can do it on your MIDI controller, such as the Arturia Mini Lab. It all depends on what you have available. After that, I need to find out the tempo for the song, so I search on Google Jason Derulo Savage Love BPM. Now, sometimes you can get a false answer like I did here, so make sure you double check by using the tapping feature on your phone or in Ableton and tap alongside the original song. TuneBat.com usually is a reliable source for getting a right answer. I finally settle on 150 BPM, but I changed the letter to half tempo, meaning 75, after I practice it a bit and see that it doesn't feel that intuitive to play at 150. Plus, you really miss out on a lot of groove. Now, it's time to get into the nitty gritty and try and select some sounds for the song. I lay out some MIDI tracks at first, as I hear it in the song. Usually, they have to be some drums, the bass, in this case a piano, that sound like an orchestra hit, and the lead tone. This is also the moment I remember to make my mouse cursor bigger, so you could see better. The piano just follows the chords on the off beats, so it's pretty straightforward. I just grab a piano from Ableton's live collection and even though in the original song it's really short and snappy, I decide to let it be a bit longer, seeing as I don't have enough layers on a live loop cover. And I will risk the cover being too stale. I record to see how it sounds and then I tweak the parameters until I get the satisfactory sound for my ears. For the bass, I usually like the Mini D plugin from Arturia. I search through several of these sounds and this sounds ok, so I just start and learn the bass part. Always remember, practice is needed every step of the way. Next, I decide to add a guitar on the off beats, panned on different sides with the piano, as I want a bit more punch, a little more transient. I then proceed to add a reverb on it to sound a bit bigger. For the drums, I opted only for the kick and the snare, so I threw in my most go-to drums, the 708s from Ableton.
After playing with them for a little bit, I realized the snare sound wasn't what I was looking for, so I replaced it in the instrument rack. For the orchestra hit, I couldn't find a suitable sound for it in my computer, so I took a brass ensemble sound, put a reverb on it, and called it a day. For the lead, a trumpet sounded ok, played a bit with the glide in the sound, so the notes would be more legato. Finally, I recorded everything one more time. I wanted to fit into one minute as I was trying to do a YouTube short but it wouldn't fit. I had to do some thinking as to how the pieces of the loop would come in so as to fit in the time interval. I decided to get the drum out in first, as I could play only one measure and not the whole four measure loop. And for another trick, the piano and the guitar which were panned on different sides, I recorded at the same time. Finally, I get my MIDI controls put in, as I don't use the default Minilab one. They feel a little too clumsy to me, and so I use my custom ones, which are different for every song, depending on what I need in the moment, to make my life a little bit easier. If you feel like talking about that, tell me down in the comments, and maybe I'll make a video about it. Now, it's time to practice with all the elements put together. The harmonies, the different melodic lines for every instrument, the fast switching between sounds, octaves, and so on. Needless to say, the process is not an easy one, and it isn't done in one shot. It takes a lot of tries. When I feel confident, I start filming. Again, Usually it doesn't work on the first try. Filming always puts a weird kind of pressure on your shoulders. When you finally finish, a weight is lifted. But then you remember, you still have to mix, have to master, and then edit your video. Sheesh. Those are the topics of some other videos. Until then, have fun making music. Cheers.